low-code, no-code software in DevOps. What is it, and why should you care? Well, today we're going to talk about low-code and no-code software and how it can help you with your software development. Now, you might be familiar with the DevOps lifecycle and how we develop software today. DevOps is more than just merging development and operations. It's a culture and a philosophy. Now, we are merging development, dev, with operations, ops, to streamline and accelerate software delivery. I mean, that's the main goal. And with DevOps, we're harnessing the power of continuous integration, which is the practice of frequently merging all the developers' working copies into a shared mainline. Continuous delivery then takes the stage, ensuring that the software can be reliably released at any time. And of course, we love automation because it drives all of these processes to work seamlessly and with minimal human intervention. And lastly, collaboration is the glue that binds everybody together, enabling them to work together effectively and efficiently. Each element is a vital cog in the DevOps machine, and together it makes us competitive in today's tech landscape. Now, low-code and no-code tools are tools that are used to develop software using low amounts of code or no code at all. They're designed to expand programming ability to non-technical users. By letting non-technical users who don't know how to write code come in and develop software, you get a unique perspective to solving a problem. These are people who are very familiar with the domain and the problems associated with it, and they may have never written a line of code in their life. Now, these tools provide a visual approach to software development, allowing these users to drag and drop components into workflows and create applications. Applications such as Zapier can develop full suites of enterprise software without writing any code, and this allows people to focus on the problem itself rather than the details of assembling the software. Now, a low-code application platform, or LCAP, is a collection of tools for developing software without writing code, which is what we've been talking about, but this is a suite of tools that focus on different domains and problems within your organization. They're more than just a single tool, but rather a whole suite of tools that you can use to build software from start to finish, and they even integrate with your existing CI CD tools. Here are some of the more popular LCAPs out there today. Appian is a low-code platform equipped with native deployment tools and integration options with DevOps tools like Jenkins. Mendix is focused on software development, and it provides tooling for testing, building, and deploying applications through a no-code software platform. OutSystems is more of a multi-channel low-code platform, meaning enterprises can build applications across a variety of mediums and it will glue them all together. QuickBase is more focused on creating workflows for processes, and it helps teams find bottlenecks and optimize their workflows. Zoho Creator is a no-code platform that focuses around CRM, or Customer Relationship Management functions. These are just a few of the awesome tools out there right now that help you move your business forward. And you can't talk about no-code tools without mentioning Microsoft Power Apps. Microsoft was an early leader in this field and has a suite of tools that help you develop applications from idea to reality fast. Plus, this integrates amazingly with Azure if you're already hosting applications on the Azure Cloud platform. Now, what is the future of no-code apps? Well, Forrester Research estimated there are over 500 low-code development platforms out there in 2021. And Gartner predicts that 70% of new applications will be no-code applications by 2025. The global market for no-code applications is estimated to be at $10 billion right now and it's estimated to be at 94 billion by 2027. There is no doubt that low-code and no-code platforms are on the rise, but why? Digital transformation. So businesses across industries are seeking to accelerate their digital initiatives, and low-code, no-code tools offer a way to build applications and solutions quickly without extensive coding expertise. And there's a talent shortage with traditional development, the demand for skilled developers outpaces supply, making it challenging for organizations to hire and retain traditional developers. Low-code, no-code tools empower citizen developers and non-technical professionals to create applications and ease the burden on IT and software development teams. And then we need a faster time to market. Businesses need to deliver new products and services quickly to stay competitive. 
Low-code, no-code platforms can significantly reduce your development time and enable faster deployment of applications. So you can see how this fits in very well with our DevOps lifecycle. By automating more and creating software faster, we're accelerating that part of the process. And collaboration will reach an all-time high as you bring in experts from all over your organization to take part in software development. It's a win for organizations everywhere, and it's something you should consider. Are you using low-code or no-code in your organization? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to know how you're using it and how it's going. Have questions about these platforms? Drop us a comment. We'd love to chat. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in this sort of content, subscribe to our YouTube channel.